tell me, what were the total of your vet bills? The vet bills, I had totaled up were $626. That was just for my vet. I didn't charge her for any of the bandages or, or anything. I, I just wonder what the vet yeah, bills the vet were, $626. Yes. Now, when this happened, Ms. Fernald, I assume that the plaintiff came and told you that your animal was on her property and had injured her dog. No, actually, the Wareham Police Department came to my home and got me. And, and said... I to go get your pig off yep, her property? Yep, I followed them over to her home. I went to her home. Um, at that time, she had her dog in the house. I asked her if her, do her dog was okay. I've never had an incident with my pigs domesticated with other animals and everything. And um, she told me her dog was fine and her dog was put in. She also stated that to my daughter that was there and to the dog officer, I mean the Don't tell me what officer. she said to anybody else, Adam. That's hearsay. Okay. The dog was injured that day by your pig. I just saw that. Okay. Okay. I just saw that. All right. Well, I have an okay. affidavit so, from my daughter, too. That... I don't care about an affidavit from your daughter. I watched with my own eyes as your pig attacked her dog. I saw the pig and I saw the leg. <laughs> if you look at the video, you can see that. So my question is, did there come a time when the plaintiff presented you with the vet bill? Actually, Animal Control gave me the original first bill. Okay, so Animal Control came by. And did you ever, by the way, receive a ticket or anything else no. for having your pet on someone else's property? No. Nothing? Nothing. Okay. Then is there any reason, just curious, is there any reason you have a ridiculous counterclaim for legal fees? What legal fees did you have to absorb? I actually tried numerous times. I sent a certified letter. For what? To get documentation on what it is the dog was being treated for, um, for the medical bills, because she had told me that there was nothing wrong with the animal. I offered to pay the first bill. She refused to take the money for me, from me. I apologize. And she said that um, she didn't want this to mean that I didn't have to pay her anything else. So I've tried you to mean get... You're talking about the first bill that came in right after February 20th. Right. Well, what if there were follow-ups as a result of the injury to the dog? I asked her to forward me that information as long as Fine. well as the dog. So now records. you understand that you are totally responsible for the vet bills and the other expenses, including bandages and anything else that she had to... I don't feel as though I am. Okay. Well, if you offered to pay the first vet bill, which occurred immediately after the incident, so now we know that you do feel responsible because you do understand that your pig injured her dog. Why do you feel as if you're not responsible for any subsequent vet bills a week later, 10 days later, for follow-up care, for follow-up visits? I don't understand that. First off, she didn't go to the vet right away. She told me that the dog was fine. She went to the vet two days later. Mm -hmm. All I asked her was for documentation from the vet on what she's been treated. She charged me on some of the bills for like a flea, a flea and tick collar. Why would I be paying $70 for a flea and tick collar? Okay. How does that have to do with anything with the dog being injured. Okay. Great. Your Honor, that wasn't included in. Judgment for the plaintiff in the amount of $700. Your counterclaim is ridiculous. It asks for attorney's fees, et cetera. Well, I, I do don't... have the animal control here that did witness it, did went out he, and did, witnessed Animal it. control did not witness what I just, did you just witness that video? Who's the animal control officer? Are you the animal control? Did you witness the video before today? Yes, ma'am. You didn't see what I saw? I was not 100% sure that there was an actual bite. You don't have to be 100% sure. You have to be it here in a preponderance of the evidence. I saw the pig. The pig was on her property. It had been on her property before, right? Yes, ma'am. Okay. That's a no-no, right? She fences in her prop. Stand up. She fences in her property because she has dogs. She has an electric fence. Her dogs have collars. What you're supposed to do, if a tree is down in January and you have a 200-pound pet on your property, you fix the fence before February 20th. Doesn't that sound logical to you? Yes, ma'am. Great. We're done here. Thank you. Parties are excused. You may step out. She stood there and videotaped it instead of removing her animal. I actually had to call the police and call a neighbor. To, to try to help get it off my property. Walk the animal back? I did try to do that. I did try to do that and I wasn't getting anywhere with that. The woman set up a GoFundMe in the amount of $606. I have no idea. I have no idea what she's talking about. So she's scamming people. She's just been very combative. That's just the type of person she is. She just felt as though she just wasn't responsible for this.